Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Liam. I am 18 years old, and I want to share my coming out story with you guys. Uh, just thought this might be a good way to help someone out. A uh, good way to start off my channel by helping someone else out, because I definitely needed it when I first came out. So traveling back to my elementary school days, I was always with girls. Uh, my best friends were girls. I never really had any close guy friends. But I always had like this weird, like... I know now it was an attraction, but back then I just had this weird, like... I don't know, just a weird feeling towards guys, like, I couldn't explain it. And, um, it kind of continued up, um, throughout my uh, elementary school life. And then middle school came around, and I dated girls in middle school. Uh, wasn't a big deal, and whatnot, and, uh, the feelings were still there, and I just thought they were just something you went through, or, like, you want to really be best friends with that guy, or it was no big deal at all, and it just kind of kept suppressing it. And then, um, like, throughout the basically throughout my elementary and middle school like years I was always made fun of for being like always like you know hanging out with girls and whatnot and it was really weird for them for some people so they call me a girl or, or and then as it progressed on like fifth sixth grade I was called gay and uh, I didn't like that too much and I kept telling them no 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 way I just haven't found the right girl or something so throughout middle school I dated girls you know just so people would stop talking and to convince people and I guess I'll to convince myself so I dated a couple girls um, in uh, middle school, dated them for long periods of time, and then um, I got to high school. And it was my freshman year, and I dated a girl named Maddie. We dated for a little bit, but I was super, super prude, like more than like any like relationship you should be in. Like usually you kiss after a while, and we never really did that, and like when I went to kiss it was like really, really awkward, and I didn't like it. So then um, we eventually broke up because she didn't have enough time for me. And then I struggled for the rest of the year because I was so angry. Like, I had this such pent-up anger and frustration for some reason, and I didn't understand it. And I was sad. I was angry. People, like, people still, like, had suspicions. They'd ask me, and I'd get frustrated. And be like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Like, cause I kept suppressing it. And it just, like, got to the point where I just, I couldn't take it anymore. So my November break comes around, so and I'm up here in my room. This room right here, actually, right over there. That's where my desk used to be. And I was watching a soap opera. Because I, I was getting curious, and I guess I don't know how I got to the soap opera, but basically the soap opera was about this guy who was struggling with his like his sexuality, and he didn't want to come to the terms that he was gay. So, like, just watching that, and then he eventually comes to terms with it, and then it just clicked in my head that I was gay. And I figured it out, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And, like, just this, this like so much tension just came off my shoulders and it was fantastic and I I knew something about myself and all of November break I was like yes I finally know something about myself that no one else knows it was I like I see a guy on TV I could secretly say to myself oh my god he's hot or something like that and it was really really cool and then like it got to the point I came I went back to school and it just like it ate at me I just like I wanted to tell someone but I didn't know who to tell because I was I was also very afraid to tell someone because I don't know how people would react if, if the people would change and like some people told me that people wouldn't accept me and I was just really really afraid so um that year passes so my first year freshman year so first semester passes second uh, second semester comes along and it's like a couple days into the new school year uh, new semester I should say and um, I text my friend Jessica and she was my best she is still my best friend but really really good friend at the time and I felt most comfortable uh, with her, and I texted her during class, I'm like, hey, can I talk to you after class? And we were in health class, and um, so after class, I say, hey, uh, I just need to talk to you. So I take her down, the, there's a hallway in our school, and um, it's like by a pool and whatnot, and there's um, they like said double doors, and I went in the smaller room with her, and I threw my backpack down, and I'm like, I have something to tell you, and I kept looking at her. And I just, I couldn't say the words. I just kept, I just kept looking at her, like, expecting her just to know. Like, I was screaming it in my head, but every time I tried, like, saying the words, like, it didn't want to come out. I never said the words before. And then she said, Liam, are you gay? And I just, I said yes, and I just burst down to tears, and I am started crying, and I'm just like, it feels so good to say, I'm just not ready to say it just yet. And then it just, it just, like, so much weight lifted off my shoulders. I felt like I knew who I was. And after that, like, after that day, I, I told more of my group of friends at the time. This is freshman year. That was 16 at the time because my birthday was three days before. So this was January 7th. So I kept telling my friends, and, and everyone accepted me, and uh, it just got better and better and better to the point where no one really cared anymore. And then I told my parents uh, a year later, 
totally by accident because I came home really frustrated with a guy I was dating at the time. He was going to be leaving and I was just really, really frustrated and she asked like, Liam, why are you crying? And I'm like, oh, my uh, Jeremy's leaving. He's like, oh, you mean your best friend? I'm like, no, mom, my boyfriend. And I just said it out loud and it was really, really awkward for a second. I'm just like, oh, crap, what I just say? And she's like, like, your boyfriend, like, you're dating him? And I'm like, yes, mom, that's what it means. That's what a boyfriend is. And they were, they were okay. They were, they actually accepted me and they told me in the past if I ever was, it would be fine. Um, my mom was a little sad that I was going to be made fun of and I'd have a harder life. My dad was a little awkward at first, but he was totally fine and, like, two years, three years later, everything's, like, perfect. I have a, I'm, I'm very, very lucky and I wish everyone, um, could have the same kind of experience because no one should have to go through being shunned out by their parents or anything like that. So, but that's basically my coming out story. Uh. All oh, thanks to Jessica. So, love her a ton, and I love my parents. So, yeah, this is my first YouTube video. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, you guys stick around and get me on this journey with me. Uh, come along this journey with me. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm kind of super excited. Um, don't know what I'm going to do on this channel. We'll see. I um, I might do a rant because I like to rant on people driving, and that'll be a whole other video. So, we'll see. Um, but thanks for taking the time to watch this. You guys are fantastic, and I hope I help one of you out because it. I wish I had one of these when I first came out. I wish I wish I didn't have to watch a soap opera, but everyone comes out in their own different way. But if I helped one of you figure something out or made feel more comfortable, well, I've done my job. So hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you whenever that may be. So thanks. Bye.